Whiskey Jason here, yeah, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. Today I'm at the BCB in Berlin 2019 together with Scott Harris from Catoctin Creek. Ah, Catoctin Creek. That's sometimes difficult to say, but you said after the third or fourth shot of it, you can really do it without a problem, right? Kein Problem. Kein Problem. Very good. No, he speaks German. That's great. Now, tell me a little bit about the history. Um, Virginian whiskey is not something that has a long tradition, or, is, or am I wrong? You are wrong. Yeah, <laughs> actually, it's the longest tradition. So, Virginia was the birthplace of American whiskey. Mm -hmm. So when we were a, a, a new country, yep. indeed, before we were a new country, we were 13 colonies, right, from the UK. Mm -hmm. And uh, the very first uh, whiskey that we were drinking in America was rye whiskey. Rye grows very well in America. Yep. And uh, our first president, George Washington, was a distiller right. and made uh, much, much rye whiskey. <laughs> so we like this history, and we wanted to present this history in the form of a bottle that we right. make of right. this traditional rye whiskey. All right. So how long have you been doing this? We've been working for 10 years. Okay, very good. So let's talk about the core range. Um, I'm just going to pull out a bottle. You're going you're gonna to present it and talk about it. So this is our Roundstone Rye. Right. This is at 80 proof. This right. is our most popular spirit. Mm -hmm. All of our whiskeys, including this one, are single barreled pot stilled ryes using 100% rye. Okay. So to be traditional, we start with Virginia grain. We start with an organic Virginia grain. Okay. The organic grain is important to us, not just because it's a better quality grain, but because it's as close as we can get to the heritage grain that would have been grown in Virginia, say, 200 years ago. Okay. No genetic modifications, et cetera, et cetera. We then pot still this for nine hours, so quite a long time mm -hmm. in the pot still, where we get a lot of conversion of the right. flavor and, and extraction of the flavor through the distillation. Right. Um, every bit of this we make ourselves, so we don't source anybody else's right. whiskey. My wife, Becky, is the distiller, and she <laughs> makes all of the whiskey for us. All right, very nice, very, very nice. So is it double distilled or single distilled? Then? Single distilled, right. so it is right. actually German pot still right. equipment. Okay. We use Kota stills, yep. right. and uh, so there we have some plates. Hello, Robert. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Hello. Um, and uh, and so we get some distillation through the plates, but it is from mash to finished product in one distillation. All right. Very, very good. And the enzymes you use as well in order to get that fermentation going. That's Great. Right. Then we'll move on to the next bottle, if I may. <laughs> this is our distiller's edition. So 92 proof. We have a higher proof. These are hand-selected from barrels where we have a spicier taste developing in the barrel. So since they're single barrel whiskeys, all of the barreling is done by taste. Okay, right. And when we find a barrel that has a looser grain, it often presents a spicier flavor. And here I talk about spices like cinnamon and clove and nutmeg. These become more evident. So then we bottle at a higher proof. Okay. This gives us the whiskey lover's whiskey, but also a nice cocktail whiskey. Very nice in a Sazerac or something like this. Very good. Now, looser grain is the wood grain you're talking wood about, grain. right? The wood grain, right. Okay. So, so you can imagine the wood grain could be very tight yep. or it could be more open. All right. And here we get more into the wood. Yep. And International Steve, ICS, or where do you get your barrels from? Actually, all of our barrels are coming from two cooperages, yeah. Charlois Cooperage, which is a Virginia oak. Okay, yeah. um, so we have some nice Virginia wood, but we also have a um, barrel mill out of Minnesota. So most of our barrels are coming from Minnesota white oak. And that the shorter summer season actually helps get that little bit tighter exactly. wood there. Very, very good. And then the last one here for us, I guess? I think this is the best. Okay. Um, this is our cask proof. So the cask proof spirit, this one is at 58% ABV, mm -hmm. so quite strong. Beautiful color on this, very dark, completely natural, mm -hmm. just from the barrel and the very hot Virginia summers that we have. Yeah. <laughs> when we find one barrel in 100 that is just perfect and okay. beautiful and balanced, we bottle it at cask proof, no water added, right. as is, and it makes a lovely, lovely whiskey. Very, very good. So on the bottle, there's just the alcohol, but we don't have a date that it's distilled or we whatever. Actually, this converts okay, into a good. date. Yeah, the batch number says 19E08, right. and then this is um, bottle number 81 out of 129. So okay. extremely small batch right. numbers on these. Okay, yeah. Especially when you think of a, a normal barrel size, 50, 52 gallons. And, and for this one, we're using a 30 gallon barrel, so 125 liter. Right. All right, very, very good. All right, excellent. What can we expect in the future? Anything coming up that's going to be new or different or even more unique? Yeah, yeah. It, indeed. So we will be coming out with our Ravel Rouser bottled in bond. Okay. So right. that's a four year old okay. 100 four proof. proof. Yeah. Yep. And that is a different style of distillation that we do for this. So for this one, we want light and really enjoyable, easy to drink. With the Rabble Rouser, it, we open up the still, so we have a very rough, um, old-fashioned distillation. Right. Lots more coming through, and it's a more rowdy, boisterous kind of blend. Okay. 
not blend, I shouldn't say blend, a more uh, expression. Expression, spirit, expression. Very, yeah. very good. And that will also be coming to Germany soon. That's right. That's very limited, so it'll be highly allocated, but we'll have some set aside for Germany as okay. well. And or Europe. What are other, what other countries do you um, import to already? Yeah, so in, in Germany, we, disport, we um, import through uh, Hansi Atish uh, yeah. Weinhandelsgebot. Yeah. I think yeah. I said it yeah. correctly. Not bad. And uh, we, in, uh, we also do Holland, Italy, and Finland. Okay, very good. UK, not yet. Not yet. We're working hard to try to I'm do sure, that. I'm sure. There's a lot of different countries here. Yeah. We have the same thing when someone in Germany makes a spirit and wants to send to America. You have 50 countries. 50 countries. Basically, because of the, <laughs> we didn't get rid of our prohibition. We just let every state decide what they wanted to do. And, and this is a different. <laughs> exactly. Right, exactly. And uh, you have three tiers and two tiers and one tiers and so on. It's and the same thing in the coming over to Europe. It's like, oh, well, a lot of different countries as well. Very, Indeed. Very good. Very good. Where can I find you online? www com. For all those that can't spell like me, here we go. Very, very nice. And um, can we visit the distillery for Ever in Virginia? Absolutely, yeah. If you're ever in the country, in the area, we're very close to Dulles Airport, which is a major international airport in Washington. We're about 20 minutes away. So if you call me, I will come and get you. We'll do a quick tour and get you back on your plane. Very, very good. So go to the website. Find him, and then he'll be able to help you here, all right? Absolutely. Very good. Scott, right? That's Scott right. Harris, very good. Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany today, together with Scott Harris, Catoctin Creek. Bye. Bye-bye.